Hello everyone, today we're going to take a quick revisit to the HDLRC Sector 150 HD, that's the DJI Cadex Vista based quad. It's a almost 3 inch prop and it comes with prop protectors. If you need to see or would like to see the full video, I'll put a link to the detailed review video down in the video description. But what we're here to do is to fix a mistake I made. I had gone on in that video about the fact that you couldn't get much camera angle out of it. Well, HDLRC thought of that. My apologies to HDLRC and to all of you that watched that video and listened to me ramble on about the fact that I couldn't get much camera angle. Would have been a lot better video if I'd noticed this, but HDLRC already took care of it. They put in three different little holes. Actually, there's four, excuse me, almost another mistake. They put in four other holes so we could scoot the camera back and we can get more camera angle. So the next thing we need to take a look at is the flight video. I am, again, I'm flying on an all line 850 milliamp battery. The weather turned terrible cold. And I do the best I can. But after beating this thing up for four battery packs, I had to pick a flight. Uh, this flight had to crash the latest in the video. And then we kind of fly it back, uh, kind of hobbled after a couple of props been up pretty good. Uh, you're going to see a flight time of about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, the battery voltage at per cell is at 3.7 volts. And you'll be able to see that uh, here at the end of the video. So we probably could have flown, I would estimate somewhere between 15 and maybe 25 or 30 seconds longer. So maybe a three minute flight time with this sort of aggressive flight style that you're watching. You know, lots of punch outs, you know, hitting the throttle pretty hard. I've got a camera angle of about 40, maybe 42 degrees on there. And you see, we do get a little bit of that top plate in view. Uh, so that may or may not be something you want, but at least with this video in combination with the original review video, you get to see varying capabilities of the quad. You get to see the quad without any uh, obstructed view. Uh, you get to see it fly a little faster. You get to see it fly slower and you get to see it do punches over my house in nice days and also in not nice days. And if you listen closely, if I'm quiet, I'm sure you can hear that steady 20 mile an hour breeze just blowing because the weather went terrible, terrible bad. It was not good this day, probably about 38 degrees, winds in the 20s, the next day, colder, higher winds, day after that, snow. So, my flying outside has become extremely limited. Uh, thankfully, we have a nice track inside that I get to practice on it, and we'll have some videos coming up. I do think the weather's going to turn around as soon as it dries out, gets that snow off the ground, I'll be able to turn around and head back outside and do some more flying, because I do have a lot of poor quads here that need some more time outside. And as we get near the end of the video here, you see I brought in the SRT file that we get with DJI recordings. That is the captions or the OSD information. It's not easy to read. It's not pretty by any stretch. I kind of did some things to make it stand out. Uh, but you get to see the information that we have there on screen after I've made the crash. Because I've never had anyone call for that in a review video. So if this is something that you'd like to see on a regular basis, please let me know. And uh, a reminder... Because I do record the audio that we hear on a separate camera and then I bring that in when I'm doing the video editing, there is about 15 to maybe 20 plus seconds of arm time that you didn't see within the video. And as we limp in, you can hear those props. They are hammered. So those of you that were looking at this and were thinking about purchasing it, did it change anything? Better? Worse? Different? Let me know what you think. I knew there was a few people that were looking at this particular quad and were thinking about making this particular purchase. And so I did want to get this video out. I didn't want to hold it back and wait for some better weather to come around so I could maybe put together a better flight for you. I think this one was kind of okay. I apologize if you're disappointed. But if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in that section down below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.